dedicated to the great outdoors. It's Southern Woods and Waters with Hugh McNaughton. Southern Woods and Waters is brought to you by Gander Mountain, Greenform Construction, The Burns Insurance Group, Cunningham Buick GMC, Nashville Marine, America's Motorsports, and now here's Hugh. All right, welcome everyone to Southern Woods and Waters. And I know it's wet outside and it's lightning and it's raining and it thunders, clapping, but boy, if we got a great, great show for you tonight. We are talking fishing electronics that help you locate your fish. And we've got one of the greatest guys I know that knows more about electronics than I'll ever know. He's probably forgotten more than I'll ever know. And that is David Genevico. David, thank you so much for being on the show again, right brother. Here. Thank you. You're awesome. He, you're one of the sponsors of the show. You're an audiologist. you got a great practice right there in Mount Juliet. Yes, sir. And uh, it, uh, events here and, and we want to tell everybody though you are an avid avid fisherman and, and if they've watched the show they've seen you right and you're uh just a, a a great pleasure to fish with and talk with about fishing thank you electronics has got to be i meant you just got through with the triton owners tournament right fish weren't where they were supposed to be <laughs> not at where this I time wanted, of year not where, I wanted not where them you wanted be, them right. but you know some guys got lucky and found them and did rather well uh, had a lot of boats in that tournament too. Right. almost right. 400 wasn't yeah. it yeah uh, so great great job for those guys but now days where the last this last week everything's been heating up right right we're well, not no more 70 degree weathers now we're 80s and close to 90. well everybody that knows me knows that if if i'm fishing kentucky lake i like to be out in the middle if yes. i can if i can see the bank i'm too close <laughs> and um so i spend a lot of time i use my hummingbird electronics i spend a lot of time you know staring at that screen looking for fish and Usually May is when that starts to happen. You know, the fish move shallow in the bushes in, in April and they right. spawn and, and then they start moving out. Well, two things have slowed that down. Number one is the water temperature last week was 68 degrees. Yep. And that cooler water, they're, they're less likely to pull out. The second is there's been no current on the Tennessee River to speak of for several, several months. And so even if it's cooler, if there's a lot of current, those fish will get offshore and group up. As it gets hotter, they're still going to move offshore, but mm -hmm. the schooling activity, you know, seeing big groups, what they call them mega schools or whatever, seeing those, it needs to be hot and there needs to be current. So we've been missing that for, for a little while. It's coming. Uh, it's been hot all week. It's raining outside. Yep. Start running some water through that system, and it's about to bust wide open. I think they're going to open up the Tennessee River. They're going to open up some of those locks, and they're going to start right. generating a little bit. That's going to create a great amount of current for air for all of Kentucky Lake, but this 90 degree weather uh, that we're getting close to, that's gonna drive that water temp up. Right. Now, right. when you see ideal conditions like water temp, 73, 75 degrees, somewhere mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. you don't even look for a bank. You focus on that out there that nobody unless, sees. Unless I've gotta to go to the bathroom, I don't go to the bank. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to say that on no, TV. No, you can say I? that. You can say that. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't care if it's, you know, I don't care if the water temperature is still 68. If it's June, I'm going to be offshore. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just, I, on the Tennessee River, on Kentucky Lake especially, you know, I'm a tournament fisherman. Right. 11 months out of the year, tournaments are one offshore at Kentucky Lake, whether it's in the fall you know, throwing a top water on offshore bars, or whether it's in the winter time, throwing an Alabama rig offshore, mm -hmm. you know, the spring, throwing a jerk bait, and then the summer, you know, on a normal summertime patterns. For some reason on Kentucky Lake, those fish just like to be offshore. Mm -hmm. They go to the bushes, you know, briefly, and they head back About out. About two so. weeks and they're back out. Yeah, they just want to be out in the middle, and that's where they belong. That's they where they go. Be, they don't need to be near the bank. <laughs> well, tonight, I want to do something a little bit different, David. I, I, I want to help our fellow viewers out here set their rigs up. Okay. Now you're a hummingbird guy. I'm a Lorenz guy, but we can we can kind of compare notes. Both should apply. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially what we're talking about. Lots of guys are having troubles. They're paying two thousand twenty-four hundred for these rigs, and then to get out there, 
And that pamphlet is like, <laughs> you need a college degree to understand something. Right, right. But it's not that hard. It's simple if somebody will explain it to you. Sure, sure. One thing is sensitivity. Okay. Well, again, I'm going to speak more to hummingbird stuff, but I think you're exactly right. Um, I, I fished with my friend Mickey Beck this past weekend. He runs Garmin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know guys that run Ray Marine. I know lots of guys that run Lowrance. So I, one of the things I tell people is, the factory settings are usually pretty close. Pretty close. And they are for a reason because they want to sell units. That's and right. And if you've got to work and work and work to get your unit just perfect, and I'm not saying there's not tweaks that can be done, but those factory settings are pretty good. And, you know, a lot of time I'll get in somebody's boat and they'll say, man, I can't see anything on my graph. And they have messed with everything and things are just... And so the first thing... Stay I'm, out of my boat. <laughs> First thing I usually do when I get in Hughes' boat to fix it is I'll go back to factory settings because right. they have just, they've tried tweaking this and tweaking this and tweaking this. And so that's one piece of advice I have. First thing, if, if you're really having trouble, you know, seeing fish or seeing structure, looking for stumps or looking for shell beds or whatever you're looking for, and, and everything looks bad, go back to your factory settings. That's, that's number one. All right, hold on. Right. I want, I want to, we're going to tease this and let everybody uh, like that part. We're going to ask you now to go to our Facebook page. Go to Southern Woods and Waters Facebook page. Like us. View it. Let us know what you think about the show. Until you do, we'll be right back with more of Southern Woods and Waters and David Genevico. He's going to help you find fish. Hurry back. <laughs> 